Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are unboxing my May BoxyCharm box. I'm so excited because it actually came in early. I was expecting it like tomorrow and it came a day early. So I was like, yes. I did peek in and they're pretty good. They're pretty good. On top, I see this boxy charm card. Look how pretty it is! Oh my gosh, reminds me of being in the outdoors. This flowery Mother Nature theme. You guys want to hear a funny story? I tried to go live today <laughs> without any research or knowing how to go live. I just wanted to press the button and just go live, but. Apparently, uh, you can't do that on certain devices. You need like a thousand subscribers, which I don't have, so, but that's okay. Um, I'm still happy to film this. Honestly, live video scares me so much. Like, oh, um, I was sweating when I pressed live and I'm so kind of relieved that I ended up not doing the live video because, you know, obviously. The first thing that I'm going to do is pull out the choice item. I'm telling you guys, right at 9 a.m. I logged on and clicked on that BoxyCharm link to do choice and right away 901 that hourglass highlighter was already sold out. So I don't know. I don't know about that because I always get my choice. I make sure that I log in on time so that I get to pick what I want. Why are they all sold out all of a sudden? I feel like it's a marketing scheme, but I see bigger YouTubers have that highlighter stick. Um, I feel like, you know, they gave it to them, but that's just my own conspiracy theory. <laughs> so I ended up picking the Elemis, the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. And I love the Elemis brand. So there's the pads. You get, I think like a hundred something pads in here. Oh, it smells good. It has a very gentle fragrance to it. This one is $59 guys. It's a resurfacing facial pad, a combination of lactic acid and probiotic fermented complex to gently effectively smooth out the skin, revealing a visibly luminous complexion. Any type of acids I love because I feel like it really helps me with my acne. So I'm really excited I got that. Next thing I see, ah, yes, guys. Tarte High Performance Naturals. Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Tarte Plant Powered Micellar Water. Oh, Micellar Magic Makeup Remover and Cleanser. I'm gonna use this to remove this full face of makeup, okay? So we'll definitely put this to the test. We'll do it at the end of this video and see how it goes. But I love this. I was like hoping that I would get this. It's, it's kind of wet. What? Okay. Oh no, I hope I didn't have a spill or anything. Looks like the bottle wasn't closed. It wasn't like, you know, completely tight and I hadn't opened this at all. The packaging doesn't look wet, although the front of the screen kind of looks wet right now. I love this because it's such a fancy little packaging for my cellar water. It's that type where you put your cotton pad on top and then you actually like press down. So um, it's so cute and I love this kind of rainforest kind of theme. Tarte Micellar Water is, it's a makeup remover, no rinse facial cleanser. It apparently removes waterproof makeup. So this is heavy duty micellar water. So let's see if it really does a good job. Um, but this is $18, MSRP is $18. Can't wait to try this and I'll show it to you guys in action at the end of this video. Next one is this pretty vulgar eyeshadow. I've never really tried anything from pretty vulgar. Like I love the packaging, but nothing about the product really interests me. It's a lightweight eyeshadow primer and it is $22. Can you believe it? This eyeshadow primer is more expensive than the micellar water. 
Hmm, I don't know. I'm glad I got it. Okay, I see a palette, guys, but we'll do that last. Next one is from Iconic London, and it's a... Let's see. It's a plumping gloss, guys. It's $26. So makeup is expensive, huh? The only product that I've tried from them is their kind of glowy liquid highlighter that I got last month in my box, and it's amazing. So I'm hoping this is also as good i don't know about the color though let's see what this color is i love like lip plumping anything so this is what it looks like it's like a peachy color at least on my skin tone it has that minty tingly feeling i'm really not the biggest fan of lip glosses in general like I feel like everything is sticky to me. I mean, the one that I recently bought was from Fenty, and I feel like this is just as sticky. Piling on the lip glosses, <laughs> but I love the taste. <laughs> the last thing, guys, is an eyeshadow palette, and it's from Violet Voss. I have seen several unboxings and i even watched the one from manny mua i think we got a very similar box but i don't think he got the violet boss one i feel like this is like a really good mix of boxycharm items i'm glad i got it so the violet boss essentials palette it has 10 full-size pants of warm and cool tones with breathtaking matte and metallic finishes it's 29 dollars and this is the eyeshadow. All right. I don't own anything from Violet Voss. There's just so many palettes out there and it's so competitive that every time I wanna buy something, something else persuades me to get something else. I already have like a Zoeva, my Zoeva palette that I got from BoxyCharm last month. So, you know, I mean, it's a good variety of shades. I, I just feel like I don't want to own another palette. I don't want to be wasteful, you know? All right, let's go for it. We'll swatch it. Okay. Ooh, did you guys see that? All right, that was cream right here. I thought it was a matte shade, but apparently not. Okay. This one is a peachy peachy shade can you guys tell what it what it looks like oh well, i'll swatch it again this one is more orangey it says terracotta you know i wish you could get two in a box but if this goes on sale, I'm definitely gonna try to get you guys one because it's a nice mix of colors. Maybe for my 500 giveaway prize. So that's everything that I got in my May BoxyCharm base box. I can tell you now, whatever the price this amounts to, I'm already 100% satisfied. This is an awesome, awesome great box. Even though I didn't get the Hourglass highlighter stick, I'm okay with that, but I'm glad I got all of these for sure. So I got the Elemis pads, the um, the Tarte Micellar water, I got the Violet Voss palette, and then I also got the Pretty Vulgar eyeshadow primer. And also, I got the Iconic London um, plumping gloss. I will put the overall price of the box here on the screen. If you don't know, I only paid $25 for this box and I got all of these things. Definitely worth the price. I think the last two or three months, BoxyCharm has been giving me amazing products. Definitely satisfied and happy with this box. Also, comment down below if you're a charmer, what is your favorite thing that you got in your BoxyCharm box? Let us know in the comments below. Let's share what we got in our BoxyCharm boxes. And with that said,
this video or learned something please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i'll definitely see you guys back in my corner soon bye